welcome back to another vlog. Um, unfortunately, at the end of the last vlog, which was eventing, I said that our next one would be a hunter trial one with both the boys, Harry and Leo. Um, well, the British weather unfortunately meant that that was cancelled. That was meant to be last weekend. But yeah, we had so much rain over the weekend and leading up to it that they did cancel it, which is really annoying because I was really looking forward to taking them both out for a show. Anyway, today we are taking Harry to a show jumping lesson. Um, obviously, it's not quite the same as um, a hunter trial and a competition vlog, but I thought it'd still be quite interesting um, to watch. So yeah, I thought I would vlog it anyway. Um, the last time Harry went out would have been cross country schooling, which I also did vlog at Boomerang with Leo in prep for that hunter trial. But never mind. Um, I haven't jumped him properly. Um, around a course for a couple of weeks and he's only done one jumping clinic um, like travel to a jumping clinic so this will be our first ever proper kind of jump lesson so I am really looking forward to to it and how he's gonna be um, and yeah he was clipped yesterday so I will show you his clip he doesn't seem to be too um, phased by that he had a full clip he was clipped before um, he had a blanket clip, um, but yeah, I decided to fully clip him because being a new forest, he's got very, very hairy and fluffy. And because I want to do a bit more competing with him, I thought it'd probably be better to fully clip him. So he's got a snuggy hood on and he looks so cute. Um, he's so good because he's probably never, ever had anything like that put on him before. And he was really, really good. So yeah, hopefully he will be quite clean underneath that. So. I will get him ready, show you his lovely full clip, and you can come along to a jump lesson with us. Okay guys, um, we have a slight issue. As I said, yesterday they were both plaited and I always plait their manes so they're out the way because it's easier to clip them. Sorry, yesterday they were both clip it, clipped. Okay, let's start this again. Both the boys got clipped and um, I always plait their manes so they're out the way and easier to clip. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll undo Harry's so they weren't... So yeah, Harry's weren't rolled up overnight but I left them plaited down because he's got quite a wild mane to kind of encourage it to grow and stay nice and down. Um, that backfired. It's very, very frizzy and I don't really want to go jumping with a mane like that. I did it, I plaited his mane the other day down and it was fine when I took it out. I think maybe because they were rolled up for a bit. So I'm not quite sure how to um, salvage this look. I might try getting it wet. Um, yeah, I'll try wetting it maybe and maybe that might get rid of some of this frizz. Otherwise, we're going to be going with a frizzy mane. Anyway, I will um, see how that goes. But I'll show you his clip because um, that bit looks nice. There we go. He's gone. Oh gosh, going to fall over. There we go. There's his lovely, beautiful clip. He's gone really, really light underneath. Like the difference here. But um, he looks so smart and grown up. Full 360. Just a shame about the mane. Oh well, we'll try and do our best to um, rectify that. <laughs> At least I can get a glimpse of what he'll look like next year, post cross country. You don't look too happy, do you? I'm really sorry. Right, this is the current stitch. It's looking slightly better. Hopefully it just dries down. <laughs> but um, yeah. We've still got like 40 minutes till we need to leave. So hopefully, cause there's a nice breeze, fingers crossed. It dries nice. Anyway, carry on now getting him ready.
Good boy. What? <laughs> Are you alright? Good boy. Also, his mane. I successfully, you didn't see it. It was um, when I bought him in, Mum, it was really curly. Because I plastic it yesterday when he was clipped, I left it in. <laughs> and he looked like he'd just been cross country. But um, getting it wet and brushing it down has worked, so you look a bit better now. And yes, I trimmed it the other day. Good. We are ready to go. Harry's actually been very good. He's always good, but nice and chill. He's looking very smart. Keeping his rug on till the last minute because it's pretty windy and cold. But yeah, I will um, give the phone to mum. She can film the lesson and you can see how we get on. That's a girl. Super. Keep the outside rain nice and still. And then think forward. Here you go. Good. And now praise it. Oh, 
good. We've got things to work on, so the main thing is keeping him forward, which is the main thing at the moment. He's got a lot better. And just working on um, different canter gears and making sure that we can adjust the canter. So when we want him a bit more forward, he answers and responds to my leg. But um, he jumps so well. Hopefully you can hear me okay, because it's quite windy. He jumped really, really well. I was very pleased with him. Everything. Oh God, it's quite spooky, some of the fences. We jumped the water tray and a different type of water killer thingy. And he popped really sweetly around the course at the end because it was quite a long lesson. So I'm pleased that he's fit enough to um, be able to do that length lesson. So, yes, just sponged him off. He didn't get too sweaty because of his clip. Let's see if he wants a drink. Okay, so we're back home now, as you can see. Um, I did kind of do a small debrief um, after our lesson at Sharon's, but um, I didn't think I really finished it off fully. Leo's just gone out on a hack, so that's what he's watching. He's munching on some hay, so he's probably gonna pop in and out. But anyway, yeah, I didn't really do like a full debrief. Well, I did a short one and then I thought on the car on the way back, I didn't really discuss the full how our lesson went and what we need to work on. And yeah, just the general how it went. So cute, look at your face. So yeah, I was very, very pleased with him. Um, I haven't, that was my first kind of like proper jump lesson with him. Um, obviously like I know the main, the simple things to work on, but I wanted to see what my instructor thought would be good to work on. Um, and also it's nice to get him out and about and seeing different places. The wind has just picked up, thank, um, very unhelpfully. It was really sunny for our lesson, and now it's so gonna focus on the sky. Oh my gosh, can you hear that wind? I think it's gonna be a bit of a rainy afternoon. I think it's gonna come in for a bit and have some chill time. Yep, and it's just started raining, so good timing. Anyway, um, he jumped really, really well. Oh my gosh, can you see it? Gross. I know, Harry, it's gross. Uh, Leo has just gone out for a hack as well with custard. Poor ponies. That's disgusting. Anyway, getting sidetracked by the rain. He jumped really well. Oh, he jumped really well. I'm really pleased with him. Um, he was quite, like, lucky when we first got there because it's quite a lot going on. Why is it making my face so shiny? Um, there's quite a lot going on at that arena. The jumps are spooky. There's horses around the edge. Also, it's divided in, like, half. Oh my, why is it doing this? Um, so he was kind of looking, there was other horses in the next door arena, um, trotting around and jumping. I really hope you can hear this. So yeah, he was a bit lucky um, and his default is then just to be a bit backwards. But um, we worked through that and started jumping and he, um, well, first of all, we worked a bit on his flat work and his flat work's just come on so well especially his trot work is so consistent and lovely and his canter has got a lot better. I have to remember he's only five. Um, uh, so yeah, then we started jumping and he jumped really well. I don't need to go into too much detail. Um, you can, you've seen it all, you've just seen it all. And just kind of started putting together kind of the different lines that made up the overall course. Uh, introduced him to um, these two blue hexagonal, is that the word? fillers mum didn't actually film me jumping them the first time which is so annoying because it was so cute he like tucked his knees right up but she did get me over the proper water tray the first time where he did a similar thing um he's just so good bless him he jumps everything first time because he's probably well they are very spooky and i don't know how much water trays he's done i know he's jumped but he's just so trusting and so yeah, then at the end once we'd worked through all the lines and just kind of trying to get him forward and on the on a nice forward stride really and trying to just keep him around the corner and I need to practice building his canter and keeping that canter around the corner so the fences come on a nice forward stride. Um, then we popped around the course, um, I think fence one, we were on a really nice canter to fence one but then he chipped in, I think maybe a bit too kind of, I rushed him a bit. But yeah, he jumped the course well, 
Um, there was a couple of longer ones where I probably should have gone with him a bit more, but um, overall he jumped really well. And it was a long lesson, I think I said at Sharon's actually, when I was still there, uh, it was a long lesson. So I'm quite um, pleased that he's fit enough to be able to do that. Um, because when we first got him, he was quite unfit. Um, and yeah, that would have been out of the question, that length of lesson. So overall, I am very, very pleased with him. Um, it's nice to have something to work on. So getting our canter around the corners. Oh my gosh, I know Harry, it's horrible. I've bought this poor tree. I think it's gonna um, snap in a minute. Um, so yeah, that is, I'm glad we had a lesson when we did because doing it in this weather would have been disgusting. Um, as I said earlier, our hunter trial was unfortunately cancelled, but um, this hopefully is you've enjoyed watching. At least I've got something um, jumping, which is more interesting than nothing. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to think when our next one may be. Um, I might take him cross country schooling at the weekend at Tweezledown. Um, but I am aware that I have just done a cross-country schooling vlog, which was meant to be in prep for this hunter trial. So let me know, comment down below if you would be interested in me vlogging that and seeing another cross-country schooling vlog come up so soon. Um, it'll probably just be Harry, not Leo, because Custer's gonna come as well, so there's only room for two of them. So yeah, it will just be Harry. But let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and enjoyed watching Harry's progress. And it'll be nice to look back on for me um, about his progress. So yeah, that is about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And yeah, comment down below about Tweezle Down if you'd like to see it or not. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye.